Hey, welcome to this tutorial on using Blender's Grease Pencil in order to create a, a 2D animation of a walk cycle. So walk cycles are one of the most technical sorts of things you, you can do, an animator can do in 2D, and uh, it, uh, but it's used so often that it's, uh, it's, it's necessary. And um, so hopefully you've watched the video by Alan Becker on the walk cycle and uh, so you get a feel for the, some of that terminology. Uh, we're here in Blender. We're going to use a couple of tools to help us out uh, to make things more manageable. So um, first off, we've got to go to File and click on New and go to 2D Animation. So this is going to set us up here. Um, we're going to go ahead and use a, a reference image um, in order to sort of trace. Now you certainly are welcome to draw out your characters um, as well. Uh, for those that aren't as comfortable uh, drawing and we don't have um, uh, pen tablets uh, uh, setups or um, pins that can draw directly onto the screen. So most people are going to be using a mouse. So this is sort of to help offset that. So we need to go get our, our file. If we go into the um, canvas assignment you can see that the video is up here and here is where we've got a reference image for the walk cycle. So if we click that we can see that we've got our one walk cycle preview here with some of the same terminology. I believe that in Alan Becker's video he uses a low instead of recoil, but we can see that the head is lower here in recoil uh, and then higher here. So um, let's go ahead and download that and put that somewhere where we're going to be able to find it. So I'll go ahead and put it on my desktop for and then we're going to head back into Blender and uh, we'll set our camera. So in order to, um, to get to what we need to get to, we've got to go out of draw mode to object mode. And then in our outliner up here in the upper right, we'll select camera. And then down here, you can see a camera icon, the object data properties, but it's for the camera. And one of the options here is the background images. And if you twirl down the, the selector here, go ahead and click on the tick box and then click add image. You can then go in and open a file. So if I go back to my desktop, we can see the one walk cycle or wherever you saved it, the one walk cycle preview here, and we'll click open. So we're going to pan out a little bit here um, in order to get everything into the screen. So these are actually would overlap each other in the animation, but they've all been separated out here, um, which will make it easier for us to draw. So um, we want to go back into our stroke. We're going to go ahead and double click here and call this walk cycle and um, we've got um, the default here which is fine we've got a line and fill uh, we're on the line layer and that's what we're going to be doing is our line art um, we've got to go back into draw mode and select a pen uh, the pencils chosen it's a little it's great for doing guides or rough stuff but um, but honestly for inking it's not um, it's not that great uh, now, if we were drawing these from hand, and if you choose to do that, and you want to draw out these different poses um, by hand, uh, it's probably worthwhile to, once you select a pen, um, I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, the rough pen, the ink pen here. It's a little, uh, it's very stylized. Um, the radius is 60. I think I'm going to back off um, to 40 here, and uh, that looks good. Uh, but you might want to, on a different layer, if you're going to actually hand draw these, um, what's oftentimes done, I'll go ahead and open up a new layer here. We'll call it like guide and we'll move it to the bottom. And uh, you might want to draw guidelines and, uh, and you can draw those here. If you hold shift, um, this is the highest point here. So you might want to draw some guides. This is about, we have to hit enter to lock that line in. And then we can draw another line. I'm holding shift again here. This is kind of the normal height. And then hit enter to lock that in. And then finally, we've got that one for the recoil or the low, the low pass, the low point. Um, and then you might set some ground up if you were going to be, um, go ahead and hit enter to lock that line in. All right, and then enter here as well. So you could use these um, guides in order to help you if you wanted to draw these out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hide that layer. I'm not going to use it or those, those guides and go back up into the line layer here. So um, what we want to do is we want to draw this first pose, and then we're going to move in our timeline a bit forward. Um, and we, we've got onion skinning on right here. 
um, over in our layers so we'll be able to kind of see things it's not really necessary for us um, right now but when we go to uh, line these figures up and overlap them to make it look like a natural walk cycle uh, we'll be needing that onion layer so um, all right let's go ahead and draw I will likely fast forward through this after doing a few of these um, I'm on the line tool let me uh, hit enter undo head back up to my pencil all right I should be good now uh, you can zoom in if it's helpful for you and you can use your shift middle mouse wheel in order to position things all right so again this is with the mouse um, and we might want to check uh, the advanced under active smooth um, if you want your line to be a little smoother um, this can give you some assistance now I've chosen the rough just because it's a st sort of a nice stylized look but you might prefer a smoother look and it's good to let up every now and then um, in case you make a mistake you won't have to redo an entire piece I'm not liking that line. I'm actually gonna, um, I'm actually gonna go back up and change tools. I'm gonna go to the um, the F ink pen uh, and set that to radius maybe 30. And let's see. Yeah, I like that. I like that better. Still hard to draw with the mouse, but we will do what we can here. So this pose is known as the contact pose, and like you probably learned from the video, it has both feet in contact with the ground. And then we can see in the very next pose, the character, um, it's got the left foot forward, and the right foot sort of comes up, which causes more bend in the knee, which causes the character to go down. And so in this reference image, it's referred to as a recoil and in Becker's video he referred to it as the Lou all right again this doesn't have to be perfect we're just gonna draw this so now that this uh, let me draw some lines in here for some knuckles okay so now that we're done with this particular pose the contact pose we want to move forward uh, maybe three and you could just use your arrow key it's actually easier I'm gonna go back and use the arrow key so my right arrow key I can go one two three um, to give myself a little bit of space here I and mean, you can see when you start drawing this character you'll know you remember to hit that keyframe I did not uh, like that line I'm not quite making the turn here because my mouse is brushing up against something. All right. There we go. That's a little more livable. All right. And so once you let up, you can see that the other drawing disappears because it's actually living on frame one. And this pose our first recoil pose is living in frame four. You want to try and close your lines if we decide to fill this character later may run into some issues all right so now we're done with that one again we want to come down here and click one two three so we did one two three four so there were three one two three in-betweens so on seven, we can start drawing this guy. We 
We can see it disappeared again. This is our first passing. Oh, this is helping us, of course, with the drawing, unless you decided that you were going to hand draw your characters and just use this as a reference, which is cool too. But, um, but we still actually have to create the sequencing and the timing and everything so all right I'm gonna come down here hit one one two three to get to my next frame Okay, so I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. And again, we don't need this contact post. What we can actually do is we could actually in our loop, we don't want to draw it anyway, because um, if we set our, our frames right now, um, there's three there's three empty spaces between each one. So if we actually go to 25 um, here and loop, um, our spacing's all off right now, but if you hit 25 and you hit the um, come down and, and hit the space bar, you can see the very next thing after this high point would be returning to this contact, so it's going to make a loop. So we really don't need that last contact in here, but of course, it doesn't really look like walking because they're all spaced out. So we need to come back through and, and respace our characters. So let's make sure we're back on frame one here. And um, what we can do, and you can see there's onion framing on, which is or the onion skinning on, which is perfect. Because if we go to our second pose, which is a recoil pose, and you can go into edit mode, and you can just box select your character. You can use G X to slide it back and match the feet up. So that that's where we see that foot, um, that front foot. We're just going to kind of line that up, and then we're going to go to our next pose. And we're going to select that, use GX, bring that back. And you can kind of see where you need to position that pose. And we go to frame 11, grab that guy, GX on the keyboard. And you can see that that foot is what it's kind of all about, that front right foot. Um, we can grab this guy, GX, move it back, maybe slide it slightly forward there. All right, we're getting our next recoil, GX. That's where he's coming down. And we go to 19, we grab passing, GX, bring it back right about there. And our last high point, GX. Oh, I have messed up my frame here. OK, there we go, GX. I've got some frames that I moved apparently. Let's see. Let's see. We should have one, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that should be 25. I bumped it somehow. All right. And then we need to Oh, I skipped one. Okay. So there we go. I need this guy. GX, bring him back. And my high point. Yeah, I had skipped one. And my that's why I was confusing myself. All right. There we go. All right. Uh, and now, um, if we want to get rid of our reference image just temporarily, or I mean, we don't really need it anymore. So let's go to Object, 
mode uh, to camera and we can come down here and just deselect background image and then go back to our oops we got to go back to our walk cycle object and then back to draw here but let's go ahead and run this um, I've set the in frame at 25 actually I want to go 26 27 and then it will loop back here so to get just the right amount there we go now he's stopping with his foot up in the air because he doesn't have that next contact pose but let's go ahead and um, make him walk at least halfway across the screen that would be a good exercise for us okay before we uh, make him walk any further here let's just double check we've got yeah we've got a we've got all of our poses here one two three four five six seven eight and then he would loop back so we need to um if we want him to continue walking halfway at least halfway across the screen um, what you can do is down here you can duplicate your keyframes shift d and then bring them out and we'll want to make sure they're spaced evenly so here we were going every three so if we go one two three we can see we need to go one more over so i'm going to gx pop this over and let's check let's turn off our um, right here we can turn off our onion skinning and we can see so yeah that's right so um all of these of course are still he's still walking in place here so we can see everything's great here but then when we jump here so yeah we actually need our onion skinning on because what we're going to do is we're going to in edit mode just gx and move this guy up and then we just keep moving forward so we're gonna just keep matching the feet up with each of these gx coming down maybe slightly forward gx starting to lift up gx coming back down all right gx X G X and then we will have stop here so we want that um, we want that contact um, the initial contact so let's go shift D and bring this up we want to make sure it's one two three that's right but we do need to move it up get it in place so all right there we go we ended on 49 so i'm going to change our frame in to 49 and we've got our character walking so if you want to make them walk all across the screen you would just duplicate that all right um but life is good we've got a walk cycle here that's exciting all right so at this point we just need to render our walk cycle so never bad to go and save periodically so i'm going to go ahead and save uh to render we go back to our output properties uh, we've got our in frame set we're at 24 frames per second you must click on output and find a place i'll put it under blender projects uh, there's my 2d walk cycle uh, that's probably a good place to keep it um, or to render to uh, I'm going to render it as an animation so I'm going to choose AVI JPEG knock it up to 100% and we are ready to go again never bad to save before you render we're going to render our animation it'll render quickly because it's just EV is the engine we're using and it is a grease pencil object so we don't have a lot of shades or anything like that on it and it's looking kind of blocky here um, that has to do, I think, with the rendering. So it should be smoother. All right, frame 49, there we go. So uh, let's take a look at our finished video. So let me pull up my file explorer here and let's jump into desktop, blender projects, 2D walk cycle, and there we go.
All right. A little head bobbing here and there, but uh, overall, pretty solid walk cycle. All right. Well, thank you for your time and attention, and I will see you in the next video.